The issue of marriage equality will be considered by the Constitutional Convention, which is a body to set up to examine a range of issues. This body will not report back to government with its findings for over a year and a half. And even then, it is up to Cabinet to consider what to do with those findings. There has been some confusion about, about what will happen after the Constitution Convention finishes at work, its work. The Convention can either support marriage equality or not, but it cannot decide whether a constitutional referendum is needed. Only the Supreme Court can do that. Marriage equality could in fact be legislated for tomorrow if there was the political will to do so. A number of eminent lawyers have publicly stated that a referendum is not in fact necessary. Nowhere in our constitution is marriage defined as being between a man and a woman. So action could be taken to introduce marriage equality now. Equality has never been inevitable. It will be hard won. This is why it is so important to keep fighting. The people making the decisions must not be allowed to forget that we are here and that we demand to be treated equally. A state should not expect any of its citizens to wait to be equal. We must be equal and we must be equal now. My name is Anna McCarthy and I'm an organiser with LGBT Noise and I'm so glad you're all here today. We've got some great speakers. My colleague Max Krasanowski from Noise is going to introduce our first one now. It's wonderful to see you all here. Thank you all for coming. Um, one of the most confirming aspects of the annual March for Marriage is the sense of solidarity and the unity of purpose that can be felt as we march through the streets of our capital city. We have undeniably changed how the subject of marriage equality is spoken about around Ireland. In homes, in villages, on TV and in radio, even in the Shannon and the Dáil, the overwhelming majority of people now agree with our cause. Our voices have changed hearts and minds, the length and breadth of the land, and every year more people learn the details about the inequality in our current laws, and they add their voices to the swelling chorus, insisting that those laws must change. One of the things that both we and our opponents agree on is that the change that we are seeking is a fundamental one. Both sides of the debate know that opening marriage equality to all of Ireland's citizens means that the legal justification for continued prejudice against LGBT people will be fatally weakened. If LGBT people can legally marry, what then is the argument for keeping Section 37 of the Employment Equality Act? As it stands, 95% of primary schools, because they are run by the Catholic Church, they have the legal right to fire any primary school teacher for being openly LGB or T. This state of affairs is a disgrace and it has done untold damage to our education system. And, but it, and many of the other outrageous laws, will become utterly untenable in a country where women and their wives and men and their husbands all sit on school boards. Some of the people in Irish society that have, that have been at the forefront of making the case for this positive change are the students. It is wonderful to see such a strong support from the students here today, and so it was with great pleasure that I welcome our first speaker, the President of the Union of Students of Ireland, Mr. John Logue. Ender Kenny, support us now! Come on, Ender Kenny, support us now! We're going to talk a little bit more about him in a minute. <laughs> First of all, can we give a massive round of applause to LGBT Noise for a fantastic march today. <laughs> On behalf of the students of Ireland, it is a pleasure to be here today. Two weeks ago, a group of students from UCD organized a rainbow wedding outside the Department of Antisha. Their aim was to encourage Antishuk and Kenny to come out in favour of marriage equality. But the pundits, the pundits say that Enda is too afraid of his polling numbers to come out in support of this cause. Well today let me tell Enda Kenny something. Ireland is in favour of marriage equality and we want it right now. We want 
want a leader who values all of our citizens equally. A leader who stands up for those who need it most. And a leader who knows that the time for justice and the time for equality is always right now. To the young people here, perhaps it'll be our generation that finally grow up in an Ireland that values them regardless of sexual orientation. And we are proud of the diversity of our membership. And day in and day out, we fight so that them and their families and their friends can have a better future. But today, let me say that we need your help and we can't do this alone. Today is only the first step Everybody here needs to go on to tellyourtd.com and let the politicians know that marriage equality has to come in and it has to come in now. We're going to do this. Let's get it going, everybody.